Okay, so this is what you're going to do to connect your Raspberry Pi. You're going to take the cover off. Just loosen those screws over there, take the cover off. It drops down. The cable's pretty long. You can drop it down or get someone to hold it for you. Um, then what you do is, this is the cable that goes to the Wi-Fi port at the bottom over here. That's that little Wi-Fi port at the bottom there. And in the middle, those two little white and yellow wires are the RS-485. That's plus 5 volts, that's minus 5 volts. Yellow and white, RS-485. Now we make this little cable for you. And what you're going to do is, this is the little cable here. This is the port, this is the RS-485 port for the solar assistant. So you can see clearly there, it's got the yellow, orange, and black wires. That's how you know it's RS-485. You pull this little wire out over here. You make red to the right, black to the left, R for right, BL for left, black for left. Put that into the two center pins over there. Okay. Plug it into the center. Make sure there's one pin free on the left, one pin free on the right. Now you've got this little adapter over here. And you simply plug that in to the RS-485 port. Over. Just like that. And away you go. And now you can leave this cable loose for the future. If we could find a plug that fits in there, we wouldn't have to make up this cable. But that little plug is a pretty strange little plug. And then we just put our lid back on, like that, close it up, and we're good to go. And there you'll notice that we have our wattage coming through. Now I've got two connected over there. And you'll see FT232R, Mega Revo is the protocol you choose. If you click on the disconnect button, now I've got two, I have to, you have to make sure you select both of those things. They both have to be highlighted. You can either drag your mouse across them and select them both, okay? And then you click connect and it'll tell you. Give it a few seconds and there you go, connected. And that's it. And then you can go to your dashboard and see all the things on your NHX inverter.